Right guys, back out on a dig. I um, hope you're all happy and well. Uh, we're at 1800 tip. Hopefully we can get some good finds today. I'm back out with Tony. Um, so yeah, we're gonna crack on and just get in, in, in muck, get in dirt and just see what we can find. Right, uh, first find. A uh, little sheer lip vial bottle. Very early. Right, it's a start. Right, second find. Looks to be a big screw top stopper. Right, a bottle's come out. Uh, with content still in it. That's probably fermented over God knows how many years. Cork still in it. I'm not even attempting to take that out. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll just bury that again. Right, just come across a compo registered. Pretty common, but still nice. A nice colour to them. Right, I've just come across a nice little ink. Uh, it's a two ounce Waterman's inks. Uh, it says on bottom. This container made in US. Yeah. So yep, nice little find that. I think I might keep that one. Right, it looks a bit I've come across uh, I think it's a Victorian. Uh some sort of cream jar, face cream jar, whatever. Uh early screw top. And again, it might not be Victorian with it being a screw top. Not sure, but it looks decorative. It's a nice colour, emerald green. Right, I've just come across a lovely little Victorian wine bottle, cork top, miniature, uh, all cut glass. With leaves on it and that. I think it's one of them um, L Rose, an early L Rose bottles. So yeah, that's a keeper I think. It's a keeper. Right, uh, it looks like an inkwell day today. Another inkwell's just popped out. Uh, don't have a note on it. Just a plain one. Right, I've come across a, a nice bottle. What can I add to my, my collection? I've got quite a few of these, but this is the first one that says Boots Cash Chemist. All the ones that I've dug has always just said Boots Chemist. This is Boots Cash Chemist. So that's probably the oldest boots bottle that I've I've got now. So I'm quite chuffed with that one. Right. We have a sheer lip sauce. Uh Victorian. Plain. Right. Uh an Eiffel Tower lemonade has popped out. Uh, Foster Clark Limited Maidstone. Right, I've just come across this uh, med bottle. Um, at first, I thought it had like some white content in it but it turns out to be a med bottle that's made out of milk glass um, which is a bit different not had one of them before uh, also come across a few items here uh, this one a little bit of label still on it can't make out what's on it uh, 
plain, plain, and this little vial, plain. But yeah, this little milk glass, I think I'm going to keep that. Never dug one of them before. Right, found another meat paste jar. Uh, nice and decorative. Right, uh, definitely an early, an early screw top. Uh, Heinz, I think it is. Let's have a look. Yep, says J. Hines. Which normally they say just say Hines now, don't they? So, yeah. Right, I've come across another Foster's Clark Limited Maidstone, but unfortunately, it's damaged. That would have been a nice colour, that as well. Aqua blue. Africa green, a bit of both. Right, I've uh, come across a camp coffee. Uh, Glasgow. Patterson's camp coffee. Right, this has just uh, fallen out a little bit well. A really tiny, tiny bottle. Uh, with a number 2124 on the bottom. Cork top. Right, I've come across my first decent looking bottle in well today. Um, hopefully, it's not broke. And actually, it's quite a nice one. Uh, it looks a bit, it's a, it is a beer bottle, breweries. Uh, Kirksell Breweries. So yeah, that, that's probably the best find today. So far. So yeah, I'm happy with that. That's right, we have another bottle in wall. Uh, it's got its vulcanite stopper in it. Let's have a look. Well, that is a lovely one. That is actually quite nice. Still got some in it, I think. Let's have a look. The Armel Brewery. Oh no, the Armley. Oh, the Armley Brewery. Excellent. Another beer bottle. Has it got the original stopper in? Let's hope so. Yep. I think that might be the... I'll have to clean that up a little bit, maybe. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Another beer bottle. Crushed it. Right, a Woodwoods chemist has just uh, popped out, London. Right, uh, California Fig Syrup Co, San Francisco. A nice bottle popped out, I'm not sure how old, how old it is, um, it's got It'll have had them, um, that with metal stopper on, you know what goes on top, you know what I mean? It's it's like a little bit of a frame around it, I don't know what it's called. Um, but it is nicely embossed, there's a lot of bubbles in it, if you can see them. A lot of bubbles, so I'm not sure how old that is. Um, but it's um, <laughs> uh, WM uh, Robson, um, Middles... Middle scent 
Sunderland. It says trademark. Excellent. It's a nice, nice bottle. Right, I've come across another bottle. Uh, I think it could be plain. It doesn't feel like it's got out on it. But let's see. Come, come on, don't be plain. And it isn't plain. It's a nice sweeps. Excellent. Uh, is, it, is it a green one? Yep, nice green sweeps. Holy cow. <laughs> Excellent. Tony's just come across a big bottle. Big med. But yeah, cushed it. I'm happy with that. Right. An old uh, Fletcher's sauce. Caught top. It's popped out. Uh, nicely embossed. Grill sauce. Label's not brilliant on it, like, but. Just thought I'd film that. Show you. Come across a lot of these on this tip. A lot of times we don't film them because there's that many of them. But seeing as though this is a nice one, I thought I'd film it. Just found this AB Spink Dry Salters Leeds. A little bit gutted because that would have been a nice bottle to a collection. But it's really warped, it's a little bit warped. You can see, warped to one side. And it's also got a big dirty crack there, so. Uh, that's a shame about that one. Right, just dug this bottle, a little bit gutted. Broke on top. Uh, an old crown top, I think it is, yeah. Uh, beer bottle it says Tetley's. Everybody knows Tetley's Leeds. Tetley's Leeds. Oh well, got big root root all growing in it. Right, a nice uh, old bottle's popped out. Um, Obson Leeds. Uh, applied lip so it's definitely an old one that one probably one of the oldest we've found today uh, but yeah crushed it right I've come across this uh, jar uh, Robledine Robledine the ideal food uh, what's that say on the bottom? O, S and Co Limited. Right, looks what's like popped out. A there. Vulcanite out of that. Bath, big bath. Um, the Springwell, let's have a look. The Springwell Brewery Limited. Where's that to say? That's, does that say Ekmond, Ek, Ekmondwick? Hmm? Ekmond White. Oh, White. Yeah. Did you say White? white. It's okay, yeah. that. Yeah, it's White. Oh. Ekmond White. Ekmond White, there, there you go. Is that what Yorkshire people I say? I thought said White. Uh, yeah, there you go, Bosch. Excellent. Right, we've just uh, dragged this big bath out. If you can see it, huge, huge bath. We're going to see what's inside it. We're going to tip it all out and we'll bring you back. Right, the two items that have come out of that bath were this old uh, water bottle and this little flask, little whiskey flask, which is a little cool find. Right, guys, we're going to get a send off now. Um, as you can see, I'm filthy, I've had muck just going in my hair, my ears. Uh, but besides that, we've had some decent bottles coming out at ground today. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to say peace out, and I'll see you on the next dig.
Right, I hope you're all happy and well. We're back out on a dig, me and Tony. 